hope you are doing well i am alok kumar and you are watching agripot youtube channel Today we are going to learn the, the complete process of photosynthesis inhibition under mode of action of herbicides. Okay, so this is most important chapter for ICSJR of agronomy. Every year you will get one or two questions from this chapter, whether uh, it is in matching form or direct question also, it may come. <coughs> so, what is mode of action? Let us see. So it refers to the entire change or sequence of events occurring its first time of application or contact to its ultimate or final effect at this site of action which could be death of a plant. So basically it is a sum of process that occurs sequentially after application of any herbicide to kill a plant. So before I go to inhibition process let us have a look on general method of photosynthesis as you know that. It consists of two reactions, one is light reaction, one more is dark reaction. Inhibition process mostly occurs in light reaction and it combines of two systems, one is photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Generally transfer of electron occurs in these two systems to produce ATP and one NADPS molecule. Those are main precursor for dark reaction to produce glucose molecule. Then comes to photosynthesis inhibition. So mainly there are two types of photosynthesis inhibition. One is electron transfer inhibition which occurs in photosystem 2 and electron diverter which occurs in photosystem 1. Mainly photosystem 2 consists of P680 reaction center having two proteins D1 and D2 and two mobile electron carriers that is plastoquinone A and plastoquinone B. So this is the normal cycle. Let me let me explain with details. Okay. <clears throat> so mainly, as you all know that photolysis of water occurs in photosystem two. In that photolysis of water, two electron release and that has to transfer in the electron transfer system. Okay. So light harvesting complex NLC will give the excitation energy to the P680 molecule. Then the P680 molecule will get excited and it will transfer the electron to the phytin and gradually it will go to the electron carriers that is plastoquinone A which is attached to the D2 protein niche and plastoquinone B which is attached to the D1 protein niche. Okay, so you can see that there are two hydrogen bond held by the plastoquinone B that is serine 264 and histidine 215. Then after accepting the two electron, when one molecule will accept the electron, that means it gets reduced. Okay, so what will happen when this plastoquinone B will accept the two electron, the two hydrogen bonds are broken. Then what will happen? the broken plastoquinone B will leave the site. Then another unreduced plastoquinone B will replace that position and the electron transfer system will be gone. But when we will apply the atrazine or any herbicide which is causing the photosynthesis inhibition, they will inhibit this process by as uh, atrazine will behave like the analog of plastoquinone B which is non-reducible in nature means the further reduction will not occur and it will replace the histidine 215 and it will replace with the phenylalanine 265 ok. So as there is no further electron will come from the plastoquinone B so electron transfer system will be stopped. So, the major consequences will be occur like that. The first consequence will occur like that. The chlorophyll will not dissipate the excitation energy. So, whatever the excitation energy will are dissipated by the chlorophyll molecule now, they will not dissipate and those energy will be reabsorbed by the chlorophyll molecule and 
it will form the high energy chlorophyll molecule that is triplet chlorophyll if there is no if there will be dissipation of energy then the chlorophyll will form singlet chlorophyll which is not toxic in nature but triplet chlorophyll molecule is toxic in nature this triplet chlorophyll molecule will react with oxygen and form superoxide or singlet oxygen which is more toxic in nature this triplet chlorophyll and singlet oxygen start lipid peroxidation of linoleic acid and linoleic acid as you all know that the cell membrane consists of lipids and proteins when this lipid membrane will be when this peroxidation process will occur the lipid membrane will be disintegrate as a result what will happen the cell, whatever the cell content they will ooze out from the cell and the plant death will occur so this is how the photosynthesis to inhibition process occur by the atrazine okay let's see some other examples like triazine group atrazine simazine all these thing and phenyl ureas like diuron monouron and uracils cause this type of action then comes to the next that is electron diversion or electron diverters only the bi pyridylum group of herbicide cause this type this type of inhibition so for example paraquat and diaper then what they do here herbicide molecule divert the electron generated in photosystem 2 whatever the electron generated in photosystem 2 they transfer through the photosystem 1 and they move in the electron transport carriers and they reach to the nadp and they form the nadph okay so that is the main reason that electron travels in the photosystem 2 and followed by photosystem 1 when this block when they will block the electron transfer system by accepting electron then what will happen the radicals will undergo auto oxidation okay whatever the radicals of paraquat or diquat herbicide they will undergo auto oxidation then they will form the superoxide ion okay as you know that when we will get energy then what will happen our energy will be increased so normal oxide to it will convert to the superoxide ion for example we can take the thanos of avengers you all have seen the avengers so thanos when he will get the stone one by one he will get more powerful okay so here when oxide when the oxygen molecule get the electron it will convert to the superoxide ion and it will form hydrogen peroxide also then this superoxide ion and hydrogen peroxide reacts with each other and form highly toxic hydroxyl hydroxy radicals in presence of iron sulfur catalyst this hydroxy ion is more toxic in nature and it will break down the lipid and amino acids and proteins and it will destroy the cell membrane integrity as a result what will happen the death of the plant will occur so this is how the electron diverter act in the plant but in case of resistant plant what will happen as you just now i told that we took the example of thanos as superoxide ion so to destroy the thanos there, there were avengers so here also there are some avengers in the resistant plants okay so they are called as scavengers means they are called as oxygen scavengers what they will do they will uh, neutralize this oxygen okay so they will neutralize this oxygen so for example superoxide super oxide dismutase and peroxidase and glutathione uh, reductase they will reduce this oxygen and as a result the plant will be safe thank you guys